I recently had a chance to talk to Madonna about her role in Evita, her own likeness to Evita's mm -hmm. life, and her newest joy, little baby Lourdes. Here's Madonna. Don't cry. Vita, the anxiously anticipated epic of Argentina's most controversial and influential presence, Eva Perón, marks Madonna's latest work on the big screen. Making the movie was a labor of love, I think, for everyone involved, um, but maybe especially for me, because, because I so identified with her, um, and because um, It, I knew that it was a real chance for me to prove myself as an actress and a singer. So I had a lot at stake. She certainly did have a lot at stake. After a series of less than favorable film performances, Madonna was not the first choice for the part. In fact, she pursued the director for the role. I love writing letters, and I thought that that would be the best way to appeal to him. And uh, I just really put my heart and soul into the letter and tried to convey to him how passionate I felt about doing the movie and how I was the only person that could do it and how hard I was going to work. And as for fortune and as for fame I never invited them in And while Evita depicts the rags to riches story of a political leader admired by many and still scorned by others one might see the parallels with Madonna herself. I identify with how hard she worked. I identify with the fact that she came from nothing and made something so incredible of her life. I identify with the fact that she is so universally misunderstood and people are so divided in their feelings about her. Are, are you misunderstood? Yeah. How are you misunderstood? Oh, God. Where do I begin? Um, I think on, you know, lots of different levels. Um, I think, first of all, um, people don't understand my art. They don't understand. A lot of times people get so swept up in my personal life or, or who I am as an individual that my, what I do creatively gets overlooked. And I think what happens, what's happened to me is what happens to a lot of celebrities is that you get, you know, sort of pushed up on this pedestal and people stop looking at you as a human being. Um, and you are dehumanized and, you know, you can't help but be misunderstood after that happens. Now, with her work done, Madonna has time for her latest and probably more challenging role, that of mother to little baby Lourdes. Before I had the baby, everyone said, oh, you're not going to believe you're, how much you're going to love this baby, and you're not going to believe how much it's going to change your life, and you just go, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, especially, like, in your eighth month of pregnancy, because at that point you just want to have the baby. Um, and then it happens, and then, and then it hits you. And then you say, wow, that's what everybody's talking about. And then, you know, you do feel like a sentimental lump of mush every time you talk about, you know, your child. So with all this, can Madonna be discouraged? I know looking at the movie that I did a great job. So I can say, well, if it doesn't do, you know, if it's not number one at the box office or whatever, um, I'm, I'm not going to be disappointed in myself. Obviously, it would be great you know, cherry on the cake if everyone else likes it too. Mm -hmm.